Seasons just don't change. I have been working with God for long and I know that seasons just don't change. It is scriptural. Remember the story of David in 1 Samuel chapter 30. When the enemy orchestrated a season of gloom and doom, they came back to Ziklag and everything had been burnt and everything had been taken. And that was a season of weeping, a season of crying, a season of hopelessness. How long will you cry when you have lost your children, you have lost your wife, and you have lost everything that you have worked for? It will take you many, many days. But the Bible says, David asked Abiatha to bring him the effort. And he entered into prayer. And he inquired from God. And God spoke to him, you can change the season of loss. And you can enter into a season of restoration. Into a season of recovery. Hallelujah. And God gave him a rhema word. And told him, now, David, because you have sought me, and I am in charge of seasons, I am in charge of times, because you have used your time not to complain and weep like the others, but you have decided to seek me. Now, pursue the Amalekites. I give you power to restore, to recover back everything that you had lost. And instead of weeping, there is going to be a celebration in the camp. What am I saying, child of God? You can use your time to change your seasons. The very you, the very you that entered 2022 with a lot of problems, something can be activated in the realm of the spirit that by the time you finish this year, everybody will say 2022 was your year. People of God, this is not fiction. This is real. You, you can change. You can change the seasons of your life if you use your time effectively. 